All right, this is part one of the ECU conversion in the Toyota T100. Now, this is um, 97 and 98 ECUs are different than 95, 96. Um, the reason you would want to do this is if you want to, if you ever plan on supercharging the truck, uh, they require a 97 or 98 ECU. Um, they say a truck, so they don't specify ECU. But uh, the reason being is that the ECU had some changes. Uh, the ECU now controls idle, whereas before there were sensors and other items that controlled the idle. Uh, but now in 97 plus, it's all ECU controlled. So you can see this vacuum valve here on the 96 is missing from the 97. Uh, the other thing is the throttle position sensor, the old style 96 and older are four pin because one of these controls uh, idle. It's an idle input or output. The 9798 just has three pins, um, like I said, because it's no longer controlling idle. So fortunately, these throttle bodies are from, you don't have to get one from a T100. It's from any 4Runner with the uh, V6, the 3.4 liter, I think 95 or so and up. So there's plenty of them in salvage yards and what have you. So it's not hard to find. Um, basically, they're, they're pretty much identical. I thought that I could just swap sensors, but I did not realize that the actual shaft that the sensor rides on is completely different. Um, they also switched how it, it spins and moves inside, so I had to get a new throttle body. But that's out of the way. It takes maybe five minutes to get this thing off. It's just four bolts and then two hoses on the bottom for coolant, and it comes right off. So let's we'll look at the back side here to see what kind of changes there are, if any. And, you know, there's really, the gaskets, everything is identical. So we'll just do a little inspection here. And that's the same right there. The only difference, like I said, is that uh, throttle stop vacuum plunger thing. That's the only difference. So... Uh, we'll get these on, and then we will move on to part two, which is the vapor pressure sensor, which is only required to prevent a check engine light. And then part three will be the ECU wiring. Very simple. There's just a couple wires to swap around, a couple that you can just get rid of on the 96 ECU, and you're done. So I will get this on, and we will move on.